Have you ever wondered why some people seem to converse effortlessly, while others struggle to make their point? This question unveils the significance of effective communication in our daily lives. Today we're going to explore the art of mastering conversation, offering practical tips on active listening, asking insightful questions, understanding body language and much more. These skills will help you foster meaningful connections and become a more confident, engaging conversationalist. So stay tuned as we delve into the art of mastering conversation. The first step in mastering conversation is developing active listening skills. Active listening is more than just hearing. It's about fully engaging with the speaker, absorbing their words, and responding thoughtfully. It's the difference between a casual chat and a meaningful conversation. So how do we hone this crucial skill? Firstly, focus on the speaker. Eliminate distractions and give them your undivided attention. This shows respect and encourages open dialogue. Secondly, demonstrate understanding. Nodding, making affirming sounds or mirroring the speaker's emotions can signal that you are engaged and following along. Thirdly, don't interrupt. Let the speaker finish their thoughts before you respond. This gives them the space to express themselves fully. Lastly, provide thoughtful feedback. Ask clarifying questions, summarize their points, or share your own insights. This not only shows that you've understood but also that you value their perspective. Remember active listening forms the foundation of any meaningful conversation. Now, let's explore how asking the right questions can foster deeper connections. In any conversation, the questions we ask are as important as the answers we give. They give us the power to steer the conversation, show our interest in the other person, and open doors to deeper understanding. One effective strategy is to ask open-ended questions. These questions, which can't be answered with a simple yes or no, encourage the other person to share more of their thoughts and feelings. Examples include, how did that make you feel? Or, what was your experience like? Another strategy is to use follow-up questions. When someone shares something with you, show your interest by asking for more details or clarifying points. This not only shows that you're actively listening but also encourages them to open up more. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of reflective questions. These are questions where you mirror back what the other person has said, showing you understand and value their perspective. Asking thoughtful questions is a key strategy in engaging and insightful conversations. Your body often speaks louder than your words. Now let's delve into the fascinating world of body language and its pivotal role in effective communication. Body language is the silent yet expressive language of gestures, facial expressions, and postures. It's an integral part of our everyday communication, often revealing more about our feelings and thoughts than spoken words. Picture this, a person with crossed arms, a furrowed brow, and a stiff posture. Without uttering a single word, they've already conveyed discomfort, defensiveness, or anxiety. On the flip side, a wide smile, open posture, and strong eye contact can instantly communicate warmth, confidence, and openness. So, how can we use body language to our advantage? Be mindful of your gestures and expressions. Practice an open posture, maintain eye contact, and ensure your facial expressions match your spoken words. This will not only convey confidence and credibility, but also build rapport and trust with others. Mastering your body language can significantly enhance your communication skills. Authenticity is the cornerstone of any meaningful conversation. It's about being real, being yourself. It's about discarding the masks we often wear in social settings and allowing our true selves to shine through. When we are genuine in our interactions, we send a powerful message. I am open. I am real. You can trust me. But authenticity also involves vulnerability. It's about having the courage to express our thoughts, feelings, and experiences, even when they might not be popular or comfortable. This vulnerability, though scary, is where true connection is born. Imagine a conversation where both parties are being their authentic selves, sharing openly and honestly. Such an environment fosters trust, respect, and mutual understanding. It allows us to see the humanity in each other, creating a bond that goes beyond the superficial. So, how can you be more authentic in your conversations? Start by being true to yourself. Speak your truth even if your voice shakes. And remember, it's okay to be vulnerable. Embrace it, for vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength and courage. Being authentic in your conversations allows for the creation of genuine connections. Every conversation is an opportunity to learn and grow. That's a mantra we should all adopt as we journey towards becoming better conversationalists. 
The beauty of communication lies not only in mastering the art but also in the continuous process of learning and improving. Think of each conversation as a mini classroom. You're both the student and the teacher. You learn from the other person's experiences, perspectives, and knowledge, and you share your own. This exchange is the cornerstone of personal growth and improved conversation skills. But how do we learn from each interaction? The secret lies in reflection. After each conversation, take a moment to reflect. What went well? What could have been better? Did you listen actively? Did you ask engaging questions? Did your body language convey confidence and openness? Reflection helps us identify areas for improvement, but it's just the first step. The next step is adaptation. Use your insights from reflection to adjust your approach in future conversations. If you notice that your questions were too closed-ended, make an effort to ask more open-ended questions next time. If you feel you didn't listen as actively as you could have, practice active listening in your next interaction. Remember, improvement doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey, a series of small steps that lead to big changes. So, don't be too hard on yourself. Celebrate your progress no matter how small and keep pushing forward. Embrace each interaction as an opportunity to learn, adapt, and become a more skilled communicator. Let's recap the key points in mastering the art of conversation. Active listening is the bedrock of meaningful conversations, where understanding and responding to others' perspectives is key. Next, we delved into the art of asking the right questions, sparking thought-provoking conversations that forge deeper connections. We also touched upon the silent language of body expressions, and how positive body language can enhance your communication and rapport. Authenticity was emphasized as paramount, showing that being genuine and open can foster trust and real connections. We navigated the art of small talk, using it as a gateway to more profound conversations, and explored the role of emotional intelligence in creating empathetic dialogue. The power of storytelling, expanding your knowledge base, and handling awkward moments were also covered, ensuring you're equipped for any conversational scenario. Lastly, we embraced the mindset of continuous learning and improvement. With these tips, you're well on your way to mastering the art of conversation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos. Thank you for joining us on this journey to becoming a more confident and engaging conversationalist.